Hello everyone, I'm Sal Dalia, senior video producer at Dorama TV, and I'm gonna do an hands-on video on a Sigma Art 50mm 1.4 for E-mount and L-mount. So me and my colleague Fernando went out with our friend Justin on the eyeline in New York to test out both the L-mount and the E-mount lens. I was using the Sony Alpha R5 and Fernando was using the Lumix S5 II. This entire video was shot on the 50mm lens. Right now you're looking through the Lumix S5 II and a lot of the B-roll is also shot on the Sony R5. For all those of you that already have experience with the R series, this is the same design and the same nice build. You can see from the photos, the subject is sharp and crisp and the fall off is nice and creamy. Using the lens, you know, it carries a nice weight and the focus is smooth and damp and it has the nice slick design of the mount being smaller so it gives you like space for your finger, especially using small cameras like the Sony. On the lens, you have an actual aperture ring that you can lock and also de-click. It also comes with an AFL button. For a 50 millimeter, the minimum focusing distance is actually very good. It's 45 centimeter, 1.4 feet but actually testing it on the field, I think it's actually a little bit less than that. Filter size is 72 millimeters, and the minimum aperture is F16. I try a couple of tests that you can see here, shooting the same subject, both at F1.4 and F16. So you can see how that bokeh looks like. So it's got some weight to it because it's very well built. It's 760 gram, which is 23 ounces. 50 mm is actually my favorite focal length. You know, it's great for portraits, but you can also do landscape as well. But I just like, you know, when you can get close to subject and get that beautiful bokeh that gives you that cinematic feel, especially for video. So with so many people switching to mirrorless camera, this is great because that means that you can keep using the same quality of the Art Series line. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time.